don't study animation, study life. In order to observe life, you have to have a life. Live, observe, animate, in that order. Words by the legend, Mr. Andrew Stanton, director and writer at Pixar Animation Studios. And therefore, regardless of the popular opinion of staying within one's comfort zone, studying animation turned out to be an adventure. I have always been inspired by the works of Studio Ghibli, Disney, Pixar, DreamWorks, and other animation studios. I studied the lives of animators such as Hayao Miyazaki, Yutaka Nakamura, Aaron Blaze, and became acquainted with their process and how they directed and animated magnificent films. Hello, I am Joyce and this is my story. It is very easy these days to find artists whose work you like and if you follow them across their socials and put some effort into studying their process, it is easier to obtain the information you need. I binge watch content like Inside Pixar, 10 Years with High of Miyazaki, Kingdom of Dreams and Madness, Disney Insider and so on. I even started following indie animation studios and getting to know more about their process. But somehow I always ended up coming back to Hayao Miyazaki's captivating storytelling. And so I decided to study frame by frame animation. And given that there are a lot of things to learn in it, I gave myself a year to get the hang of it and see if I liked it. Animation is an umbrella term for concept art, visual development, perspective, backgrounds, color scripts, storytelling, 2D animation, 3D animation, VFX, SFX, compositing, rendering, etc. But it is always best to create bite-sized goals and since I love frame by frame animation, I decided to improve my drawing skills first. One of the best books I came across was The Animator's Survival Kit, which not surprisingly mentioned that before animating, make sure to have a good drawing foundation. Learning the principles in that book was all I needed to get started apart from drawing of course. So my first goal was set right in front of me. I had to learn drawing. Apparently if drawing becomes second nature to you, then all you actually have to think about is how the moment should work for your animations. I started with gesture drawing, drawing with one line, drawing with a pen and many more techniques. YouTuber Dong Chang has great tutorials for it which I will link along with other useful resources in the description below. In 2D animation, the characters are drawn in a very stylized manner. But you do have to know some basic anatomy first in order to simplify it. I studied a different topic each day like values, composition, perspective, concept art and every day my daily routine looked like this. Value study for 30 minutes before work, gesture drawing for 30 minutes during the lunch breaks, Color study for 30 minutes at the end of the day while watching YouTube or some TV series. But you can change it according to your goals and practice drawing in perspective or something else instead. Practicing mindlessly led me to feel paralyzed by all the possibilities of improving my skills. Since there is so much material available on the internet and me not doing anything about it, I felt really guilty. But then I came across some eye-opening documentaries. I found that even the masters have felt lack of inspiration at some point in their career. You have to work hard to plot and mold a story. It doesn't come any easier to the masters of the craft. Figure drawing books by Andrew Loomis, Michael Hampton and Force by Michael Mattisi were a lifesaver as I never attended art school. But I must say drawing from life is a total game changer once you nail down the basics. Seeing an object that exists in real life Look 2D is something that took a long time for me to understand as I blissfully ignored it in the beginning. In my gesture drawing practices, some poses were timed, some were specifically drawn for a longer time in order to study how a muscle moves or how bodies look in perspective, clothing folds, etc. Always find artists that do something you like and learn from them. I have the whole process shown in another video on my channel. Along with drawing, I started doing some small animation studies like leg only walk cycle, hair and cloth movements, anything that caught my eye. I used a wide range of softwares to do some trial and error and see what works best for me. 
I got some art books like The Art of Pernil Orum, Zootopia, and Color and Light by James Gurney. But Zootopia amazed me with the thought process that went behind stylizing the animal world just to be like the one we humans use, commute. It was simply fascinating. Did you know the, na- the animators went to the Natural History Museum to look at pelts and study their fur, structure type, and how they interact with the surroundings? I also made it a habit to do 3 to 5 second studies of things or movements that caught my eye. If you have seen the recently released Netflix series Blue Eye Samurai, I hope you felt as captivated with the animation style as I did. Since I liked a few scenes shown in the official trailer, I downloaded the video and using Keyframe MP2 started analyzing it frame by frame. Keyframe MP2 helps to analyze any scene that you would like to figure out just by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. And I relied heavily on it as I used it to break down the works of professional animators. This video is not sponsored by them and they have a free version of it which I personally like and use all the time. As Tashe quotes on YouTube, Application is the alchemy that transforms your acquired knowledge into gold. I try to apply the principles or techniques I learn to an idea in my mind. You can use it in a fun way for one of your personal projects or places you visited, the experiences you had. The opportunities are truly endless. Get feedback. Draw from life often. Draw your face to get a feel for different facial expressions. If you struggle drawing something, draw 100 of them from reference. Practice, practice, practice and never give up. And most importantly, remember to live a life.